Hey everybody, welcome back. Northern Lions playing the Binding Wise of Rebirth here. Big run. All these runs are big runs now. But we are Isaac. Let's see what's in our first item room. Oh, I don't like it. Dolib B7ZJ. If you have if you don't know what a Z-Way is and you have to ask, you can't afford it. Loki's horns. Okay. I I want to point out, I immediately regret taking Loki's horns. As soon as I picked it up, you know that GIF slash GIF? I'm not gonna get into this fucking circle jerk. Go ejaculate somewhere else however of the the dog with the they hold a cupcake in front of it and then the person who made the gif has like superimposed a bunch of like horrible pictures from the vietnam war as if the dog is having a flashback to a traumatic moment in its life because it's not allowed to eat the cupcake you get the idea that's how i felt when i picked up loki's horns i was like oh shit loki's horns curse of the blind ipecac this is how our life ends so we have to be careful or we have to get that and then make the run work regardless and be the proudest of myself I've ever been in my life. Um, but that's that's dangerous. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Um, Loki's Horns carries almost no benefits. Although if you get like Mom's Knife, it, it's fun. Or uh, if you get like Homing, Tiny Planet Brimstone. And I would love for these to happen, by the way. If you get those, then it's amazing. Um, if you don't... And you get Ipecac, there's a chance it goes wrong. Or you get Fire Mind, there's a chance it goes wrong. Or you get Dr. Fetus, there's a real chance it goes wrong. Epic Fetus is a bit of an exception. Epic Fetus looks pretty funny with Loki's horns, although it is, albeit maybe a little bit more dangerous. Um, so, the Loki's horns pickup does more harm than good, I think. I'm going to keep our bomb, because I think I might be able to use it to access a Tainted Rock on the next floor, or maybe even a Secret Room on this floor, who knows. But... Um, it's uh, it's a bit scary, but I'm probably I'm blowing it out of proportion without knowing anything else about this seed. You know, if Ipecac shows up, I can just not pick it up, or I can pick it up and try for the best. I mean, we get Pyro as well. You know, like the odds are not god awful necessarily. They're not unprecedented, at least. Coat Hanger pickup is nice. Uh, why not pick up those spirit hearts, Northern Line? Well, what I'm thinking here is that I'm gonna come down. Uh, the secret room looks like it's gonna be in a shit location. Like, we're not gonna know where it is. Uh, I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna shoot the... the poop here. If we get super lucky, we might be able to get the five cents. I don't wanna buy a spirit heart, but an arcade on the next floor would be... beautiful. I still think we have a pretty good chance at it, because I'm gonna come here, and we're gonna walk on this bad boy, and it didn't work out. Maybe a half heart out of these guys, I would feel better about that. Mm, okay, and then we're gonna walk on it again, and we didn't get anything. And it's very important that this is when we disengage, we walk away. Thank God I didn't take myself down to a half heart, actually. Oh my God, I would have so much pressure for this actual room. I'm really, really glad. That would have been the worst way to lose the streak. Luckily, we I mean, we haven't been hit on this room. I'm just saying there's a good chance that we could have been if I hadn't been paying attention. And if the stakes were higher, I could have put like a lot of pressure on myself. I almost think that our shop is gonna be directly next to like, no, no, it's not gonna be above us there. We've ruled out, like, almost every single location, but I still think it's just best to go down in this situation. I I played with fire a little bit on that first floor, and that's always a risk. Curse of the Lost is good, because it means we don't have Curse of the Blind, which would be bad by proxy. No spiders. A crawl space and two spirit hearts and four cents. That's an extraordinarily good haul. And Judas's Tongue. It's, uh, it's good. Especially if we can, we haven't really used it effectively a lot. And that's because it's, it's RNG to some extent. You know, it's gated by getting deals with the devil and getting them at the right time and as many of them as possible. Thank God for these spirit hearts. So that's what we're going to be gunning for is like, if we can get a, we don't have any choice in the matter, but if we can get a triple devil deal here, a triple dipple D, I would be so into it. Pay all of our three hearts, keep our spirit hearts, whatever's left of them, and pick up hopefully some great items, and you know, if they're not good, we can re-roll them into something that's hopefully better. Extra bombs is nice. We're, we're at like the good level for all consumables right now. Enough money to buy a spirit heart, enough keys to access both important rooms, bombs to check for secret rooms or get us out of tricky situations. It's, uh, well, that's not good. And enough spirit hearts to feel completely confident, not just in our survival, but in also getting a deal with the devil. So, um, yeah, it's, it's nice. This is a really nice situation. And we keep getting more consumables, which I am not going to complain about. Let's do this. Uh, two of the same pill is extremely tempting. We have a tears upgrade. 
So I think that um, I might want to use a bomb for this section, but I think we should not have to use a bomb against big haunts. Probably should have used a bomb to kill these guys. What's more valuable, a bomb or half a spirit heart? It depends, you know, if we can't open a tinted rock that would have contained at least one spirit heart or something equivalent. I think it's a pretty obvious answer. Haunt fight is very easy once you know what you're supposed to do. On this room in particular, this bottom corner right here is where you want to stand. Enough time to dodge the, uh, the shots that come in. The brimstone laser is your only uh, piss off. There it is, his most common attack, I'd say, most of the time. Um, you just got to be ready to change directions whenever he shoots it. Eight ball is not very good. I'm going to take this for the black heart, but largely just for precedent and because we could have rerolled it into something worse. That does allow us to reroll that. Eh. I don't love it. I'm going to try something here. Fuck the second secret room. Give me the pill. It's lemon party. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, but I was hoping maybe like a tiers upgrade. Two tiers upgrades for two bombs would be a, a stupid good deal. Okay. We do have a... Uh, we have a deal with the devil precedent, which is important. Got a little extra killing power. We got something that helps us out, uh, Judas' tongue, on deals with the devil, and we still have an item room available on this floor. And, ooh, the ability to go to our shop if our item room sucks, we could maybe buy a charge. But it's, oh, we could have an arcade as well, but, you know, we're getting a little greedy. There's our shop. I think it's a library. We could start doing that bullshit meta again, but let's see if we can save a key, ride a cowboy in this situation. Put a bomb down here. Ah, we, there was an explosion so close. Ah, but it was not close enough. That's uh, another lemon party? No, that's a new one. Pretty fly. Hey, that's pretty good. RoboBaby 2.0 is not, though. It's it's bad enough that I want to reroll it. So if we can get into our shop and make that happen, I'd like to. Telepills. Um, more, more just an annoyance than anything else. RoboBaby is bad enough that I would... Yeah, we can't get any of these anyway. Uh, any of the items, at least. Robot Baby's bad enough that I'd rather have nothing and at least have the chance for something better. I'm not gonna get rid of the D6. We used Blank Card on a recent run. I paid my dues. Time after time. You brought me fame and fortune and everything that goes with it. I thank you all. I don't remember how the lyrics go. Um, that's a lie, I do. Um, what do you think? Second secret room for a bomb here? Alright. Alright, you would just nothing for it as well. I think, uh, all things considered, if I could do that over again, knowing what I know now, I would probably reroll the Devil Deal instead. This is our danger zone. Curse of the Blind. Um, we are gonna go to the Curse Room. Don't think that I'm gonna, you know, bow out of that one. All I'm going to do is make sure that I can, um, have a reroll ready just in case it's a guppy item. Bucket of Lard. We already have, a uh, semi-decent speed, so the extra HP, I think, is really worth it. Uh, actually, now that I think about her speed is not doing as fantastically as I somehow thought it was for some reason um, but it's not terrible we're not super low on speed I don't even know why I'm attached to this run because we're just gonna get a reroll and you know reroll the entire run anyway if history is any indication but this is a comfortable run and, and comfort is, is something that you know can be as dangerous as it is helpful but right now I'm very thankful for it got a lot of HP and not awful damage it's surprising how little uh, the overlap there is in the early game. A lot of runs where you get uh, not a lot of either or a lot of one and not a lot of the other one. Like our shovel run, for example. But I would take that shovel run 10 times out of 10. Guppy Proptosis Brimstone. Just took a little while to get there, you know? We have no goat head here either, so I've been thinking about, oh, what's our next deal with the devil gonna be? But we may not get another deal with the devil for quite some time. You gotta stay vigilant about that. We do have our item room ready here. Uh, keys instead of bombs for sure in this situation. No Ipecac. Able. Ugh. It's bad. Uh, the Able pickup is not good. It's a super re-rollable item. However, what's nice about it is now we'll have a, a narrower pool on golden chests to get better items. Bob's Brain is a better item than Able, I think. Even if we don't take it, just having the option to take it. You see that tinted rock over there? Are we going to actually try to kill this fly over there 
so that it maybe creates a bridge to get the consumables. Ah, oh, fuck. No, no we're not. We're gonna hope for the ability to fly, and then we'll get it if we can. That was a little bit of a tall ask. Um, yes, uh, also, of course, you know, Fate Cricket's Head. If we can get those out of a golden chest as a result of getting this uh, able pickup on an item room, well then, the able item is deceptively kind of good. But as of right now, it's not, and it's overtly kind of terrible. Because of the potential that it wasted on that item room. Okay. Pestilence. We pick up a cube of meat. It's uh, not a be-all end-all when it comes to doing a lot of damage in the game. It's helpful though. We already have a pretty fly, so it, it just ups our defense that much more. I'd I like to get orbitals, but I don't like to get orbitals when I'm at a little bit of a loss for damage. I know I just talked about how comfortable my damage was, but you know that changes quickly when we're, we're at the, the threshold of the next floor or even the next series of floors. So hopefully we snag a, a deal with the devil chance. The orbital's fine, but it's it's not uh, great. Probably. And we do get a deal with the devil chance. And we have Judas's tongue, so we will take whatever it is. Guppy's head, that's a guppy item. It's our best shot thus far. Then we reroll it into something even better. Ghost baby. <laughs> One heart for a guppy item and then ghost baby is okay. We can live with it. So, I'm thinking that uh, at this point, we go to our shop and try to buy a, uh, a charge. That looks like a second secret room to me. I'm going to give it a shot. It was kind of a risk because it was so far away from the boss room. but And it ended up not being that good, but maybe we get Mom's Purse or something like that. If we get a half price Mom's Purse, I would buy that over a charge. No. Uh, there's no charge for sale anyway. Uh, so we try to get like a full reroll ready, which we probably actually won't be able to get considering we're on Catacombs 1 and we've already done a lot. Uh, but if we get to do it, um, then that'll make my curse room that much more probably better. I don't know if we can actually get the tinted rock here. This is like the floor full of tinted rocks that are just completely inaccessible. So I'm just going to blow you up and hopefully we'll get like a bomb or two after completing this room. Or we'll just find the secret room, which is also a pretty good turn of events. And there's our charge. Okay. What do we do now? Well, now we go to the uh, curse room. They're not making... You gotta admit, you know, I, I think we have had some runs where the seeds have been very kind to us. But they haven't been that easy on me lately. You know, we've been working for this one. This would be so good if it was Guppy's Paw. Goathead. Also good. Actually, also great. We're early enough, and we haven't missed any deals. We got two deals already. So this is huge and makes Judas's Tongue that much more valuable. Good. And this was our last room up here, so... Hoping... Oh! Hoping we get uh, some bombs so I can actually take advantage of that tinted rock over there. But I don't think it's going to happen. Are you a wizard? Well, by the time we get down to the next floor, this is probably going to be almost done. We do have one bomb now. Do you think we can get it? I don't think we... Oh, yeah, we definitely can. I'm an idiot. I'll just put it there. Oh, small rock. Small rock. One spirit heart. That's still okay. Alrighty then, down to the next floor. And what I mean is not to say that the games have been hard, but that they haven't gotten OP early. You know, they haven't just been like, first deal with the devil, mom's knife. First deal with the devil, brimstone. First deal with the devil, death's touch. We've had to we've had the the work and grind for it just a little bit. Just a little bit. And it makes it that much more satisfying. We'll check our curse room right away because we got a full reroll ready. Huge. No bombs. We'll come back here. But yes, the Guppy's Collar pickup, uh, it does take us... Ooh, that was very lucky. It does take us one item away from becoming Guppy. There's our secret room. A lot of good luck in, in the form of finding secret rooms accidentally this run. I'm not going to complain about that. That's been exquisite. With the goat head and rerolls... As, excuse me? And uh, all the rerolls that we have, I would be very, very surprised to not see a deal with the devil show up. Or, sorry, not, well, yeah, I'd be really surprised then. A little mad, even. But I would be um, very surprised to not see another guppy item show up. Maybe not today. Maybe not this floor, but every floor for the rest of your life. I have to. It's my brand. My brand is these double key rooms into a reroll room. That one was bad, but in a way, I guess I'm happy to be freed from the consequences of having to <laughs> reroll myself. 
I think we go back to our curse room now. Oh, it's like a really good opportunity to try that out. Okay. Spirit Heart's looking good. Survivability's fine. Damage still a little poor. Well, we, we haven't upgraded it like at all, so of course it is. Cricket's head. Probably still worth it. We lost a Spirit Heart, picked up like one key and a bunch of money. And some Red Hearts if we ever need them, or if there's a Blood Bank on this floor, which is somewhat likely. Decent range. Oh, that was a little dangerous. Great shot speed. Good rate of fire. Just uh, the actual damage stat itself needs to be upgraded. Maybe a Magic Mush will help out. Liberty Cap, huh? Liberty Cap's good, man, but I think especially considering we have the Goat Head, it'd be pretty silly to not roll with um, Judas's Tongue. Unless we get, like, Horror of Babylon and we want to spend more. But we can always, like, drop the... Judas' tongue as necessary to do that, but that's a whole different can of worms that I'm not going to get involved in right now. Uh, Lemon Party, I don't know. It may work against Krampus. It may not. We'll probably just use it on whatever boss shows up next. I like to get cards out of the rotation quickly and, you know, not have to... I, I say this somewhat ironically, but not have them, like, take over my mind share. Always be like, every room, I got to go through the checklist. Do we use Lemon Party here? Do we use a reroll here? Yada, 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 yada. Um... That was probably the best accidental use of an orbital I've ever had. Thanks, subconscious brain. I appreciate that. Book of Sin. Battery? Pretty fly. Hey, that's really good. We basically just got a free pretty fly. Then we reroll this. It becomes the Halo. We did ask for an all stats upgrade. We didn't get the one that we asked for, but I'm not going to complain too much. All stats improved. And takes an item out of the boss pool. I don't know if that's a good thing at this point, but it, it is done. And another reroll just dropped randomly. Uh, I think we want BFF. It's one of those, like, it's not that amazing, but why wouldn't we want it, you know? Helps out our orbitals a lot. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. It is that amazing. I love it. I would marry it if I could, but it's not legal to marry inanimate objects in my country yet. Thanks a lot, conservative government. Um... We cannot bomb our way into that room. Man, we have not had Boss Rush factor in in a long time, huh? At least five or six runs. It's been a good floor. All we need to make it an amazing floor is to give me the guppy solution here. Bring me the head of the Disco King. Uh, we could try for a Magic Mush here. I mean, um, two all stats upgrades would also be extraordinarily good. We know that our pill rotation is pretty good, so I should be maybe, you know, crank up the aggression factor a little bit on blowing up these mushrooms. It's two lemon parties now. Oh, that was a little scary, but I'm glad we stuck it out there. Let's see what we got. Mega Fatty. Oh, it's the perfect opportunity to use a lemon party. He will probably die. If he jumps down to me, he's gonna die. He's dead. And Pentagram is non-rerollable for the extra damage. And, uh, <laughs> Let's see the red chest first. Okay, Spirit Hearts. Th it's weird. I think I want to take Abaddon and reroll Judas's Shadow. Do we take Judas's Shadow? Nah, I think we gotta... Like, take Judas's Shadow, die, pick up Abaddon. Take Judas's Shadow, die, pick up Abaddon. Take Judas a shadow, die, pick up Abaddon. Where's where's damage? I need damage. The curse room can do it to me. Um, I I think this is the best thing for us. We could use those. Uh, oh, these spikes will do it. There we go. Um, wait, 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 wait. Take Judas a shadow, die, take Abaddon. Not die, take Judas a shadow, take Abaddon. Thanks, brain. Whoo! A little risky there. Mo Will I still be able to take... You know what? We're going for it. I've decided. That was almost the most uh, unbelievable throw of my life. <laughs> to just... <laughs> if I just walked on the spikes and gotten myself killed, that would have been hilarious. Thank you, Brain, for real, for double-checking. I appreciate that a lot. We could have been brought back to life as a result of... Um, 
Guppy's hairball, but we might not have been. That's fucking Guppy's hairball brought us back there. That time. No, no, I don't want it. I want Judas a shadow. No, you don't understand. Please don't fuck me like this. I want Judas a shadow. There we go. There's our Judas a shadow. Um, we should pick up Abaddon, but I kind of want to check out this room down here for now. Now that we can uh, access it. Yeah, give it a shot. Lots of money. Might want to buy another spirit art. But actually, I think once we pick up Abaddon, uh, our spirit arts are going to be fine. So we probably threw away a pretty good chance to get Guppy there. But we're going to get, instead of a chance to get Guppy, we're going to get some really nice guaranteed damage. I mean, we were going to pick up Abaddon either way. But the Judas's Shadow damage multiplier, really good. We've been very fortunate with Judas's Shadow that most of the times uh, recently we've had an opportunity to pick it up. We've had an opportunity to get a lot of HP back. It basically turns any, and it's funny because there's a Lazarus Rags item, but it basically turns any character into Lazarus, at least temporarily, for whatever floor you're on. You have to start thinking, ah, oh, do we want to actually, you know, go for broke on this? And the answer is oftentimes yes. We have no uh, reroll to really take advantage of here. This has worked out with me, or for me, t with surprising regularity lately, so I'm hoping that it continues to do so. Thankfully, that is still a, it's a Red Heart deal, so we can't take it. I started a joke, <laughs> started the whole world. Anyway, we got we got ceremonial robes out of it. Uh, this was a bad play. I should have taken Abaddon instead. I got I got way up my own butt there, being like, oh wow, what an incredible play, Northern Lion. You're a genius with Judas's Shadow. Turns out uh, sometimes I should just stick to what I know. This being said, you know the Judas's Shadow damage multiplier is huge, and the um, the ceremonial robes pick up good for our HP, which is actually surprisingly important, and um, also good for our damage as well. But I did make a, a pretty critical mistake there. And I'm a little bit, I mean, I'm not self-conscious about it because it didn't kill us, but I'm, I'm aware now of the mistake that I made and we'll uh, fucking do our damage not to blow that in the future because that... If we had taken, like, a little bit of damage... Well, first off, if we'd taken a little bit of damage on the boss trap room, that would have been terrible. Especially if we didn't re-roll into an item that actually gave us a little bit of HP back. Not much, but a little bit. Um, that could have been... That could have been real sour there. We almost killed ourselves, or at least contributed to our own deaths twice on that floor. Um, you know, we could use flush on one room, and then try to shoot the poop for money. That's good. Uh, but I don't think it's that viable. I don't think it's that necessary. So our run has changed quite a lot in a relatively short amount of time. We're definitely going to reroll Flush because it sucks and is bad, I think. And Nod Leaf. Nod Leaf is our insurance pickup. On any room we can stand still and BFF Cube of Meat Nod Leaf will, will contribute very nicely to helping us out. Obviously had to get out of there. Sucks that we took damage in the process, but at least we didn't take uh, too much. I don't think we should fight our boss yet. No second secret room there, that's okay. I want shop, I want item room, most importantly, we're gonna get a deal with the devil, so I want to charge, either way. That's probably worth two keys, honestly. Oh, of course we... I'm so guilty of this. We had a uh, I can see forever pill. Why am I wasting my bombs trying to find a second secret room? Old habits die hard. Old habits, comma, die hard? Old habits, comma, die hard? That's like an Im indication you want to watch die hard for like the 3,000th time? Where the heck is our bomb room? It's now over here. Curse of the maze, I hate you. Yeah, we'll trade two keys for this. Two keys for eight bombs. Good deal. Secret room was down here. Uh, greed fight. Not a problem as far as I'm concerned. Pre especially if we don't get hit. More spirit hearts and more ability to buy spirit hearts, please. Okay. Don't have to be spirit hearts. I don't want to be picky. They could also be demon hearts if you're interested. That's like, oh, you're out of chicken breast? Alright, I'll have a filet mignon. I'm not trying to shit on chicken breast. It's a delicious meat. Especially when prepared in specific preparatory, you know, methods. Rerolls almost ready, which, or at which point we should really go to our, uh, our shop. Yo, Skull, you're really pissing me off here. 
Uh, we should go in there. I'm being cute, but not uh, very effective. Which is also a description of my love life in high school. Nothing. Oh, wait, not nothing. Two of diamonds, 56 cents. Two of hearts, uh, not really too excited about this. Two of excited about this, I mean to say. All right, uh, well, we're not fighting greed, so this could be nice. It's not. However, I'm not going to take the stopwatch. It goes against everything I believe in my heart to be true. Yeah, just use that on this floor. Way the lemon party pill you got to save, obviously. Um, that was a dumb decision, but didn't cost us too much. I'm making a lot of dumb decisions, though, and the thing with dumb decisions is that they add up. I didn't even mean to come here, actually. Um... It's, we're just wasting one room. It's just not that bad. We're gonna go fight our boss. Uh, I'm ready. Little scared. Not about our boss fight in particular, but about our... Not even about our chances on this run. I'm just a little... Perturbed. If we had gotten that Abaddon set up working, what we should have done is taken Abaddon, reroll Judas' Shadow. We would have Abaddon and like 12 Spirit Arts, and then we'd take a deal that costs us three with whatever Judas' Shadow was rerolled into. That's not bad. Instead, I got clever, and now we're on five and a half with less damage. But we are still only one Guppy item away from, you know, having really, really high damage Guppy. And maybe nine lives on top of it. So we're not in a bad place. And that damage does help. It had to be Krampus at some point. Might as well be now. I'll take a lump of coal, reroll Krampus' head. That's the standard uh, meta for it. I kind of hoped we'd get to reroll Krampus' head. <laughs> but I can't justify rerolling. Um, well, not Krampus' head. Uh, we took lump of coal. Or, sorry, we took. Yes, we did take lump of coal. But we also took uh, the item room, which in our case here was Nod Leaf. What we're gonna do is reroll the shop again in the hopes of picking up not stopwatch. Now that we know we're not gonna be using a charge on our deal with the devil because we wanted it. I'll, I'll pay 15 cents for a card. I paid 15 cents effectively for a key. And we're getting rid of the lemon party card. Yeah. Well, um, this is okay. We're going to look for a curse room, or really anything that's still left over here. And, you know, we got a damage upgrade and lump of coal. Our damage is nothing to sneeze at right now. But this is a scary run. I'm glad we paid the Krampus tanks, we got that out of the way, but we need, we need more. Piercing shots would be incredible. Brimstone Mom's Knife. Death's Touch, you know, which is a piercing shot, I guess, but you get the idea. No curse room, huh? Piercing shot. Tammy said. Nah, we probably wouldn't even take it. Alright. Alright. Let's head down to the next floor. I'm not, like, I'm not despondent about this run. In a way, it would be fitting if my hubris about Isaac runs led to the end of the streak. But mostly it was just my idiocy with that, uh, deal with the, the yeah, the, the Judas' Shadow deal. Um, you know what? This is not cost effective, but I'm gonna do it. Four bombs for one spirit heart is not that bad right now, I think. All right, Devs 2, no curse. Somebody up there likes me. We have an arcade with a fortune teller, um, which I will play. At this point, we could probably get rid of Judas' Shadow because it's not really doing much for us considering we're on Spirit Hearts. So, you know, more Spirit Hearts, a better trinket. We'll save 15 cents. Can we blow up our Blood Bank? So we're not going to use it anyway. Three more cents. Blow up our Slot Machine. It means we won't be able to access the Tinted Rock, but <laughs> I don't look for those anyway. Uh, as much as I don't really love Judas' Judas's tongue in this situation, we're fine. We don't want to take uh, the butt option, butt penny. Because it's terrible, it's just not very good. Um, we will use the stars card now. This is the fringe benefit of it, is that we can use it to reroll something if we don't want it, but we want it. Uh, the extra three spirit arts plus the wafer effect plus 
well, just peace of mind, I guess, feels pretty good. Managed to sneak through there. Uh, yeah, very solid. Let's use our moon card as well. It's not like we got a, a deal with the devil to shoot for or anything like that. Good pills. I can see forever. Magic mushroom is not a pill, but it would be nice. Telepills. A little risky. I found pills. Not bad, actually. Like, you know, as far as pills go, we can be happy that at least it didn't hurt us. We can use telepills to get out of our boss room. We can use it to try to find uh, an error room. There's all sorts of interesting things, but we don't want to use this yet. Probably want to use it after we clear out a floor. Alright, so the, the cancer pickup, I, I really can't stress enough how good that is. A lot more survivability. Uh, better card than telepills would be nice. Alrighty. Just wanted to get some revenge on you there. We will go big room. Oh, jeez. Okay, cool it, cool it, cool it. We will go big room and hope that our shop is adjacent, which it is not. This room has a tendency to be real freaking annoying. Take out the Zambros. There is a laser one left, usually. Yeah, there it is. We got through it. What's our pill? Pheromones. That's okay. We know what it is in the future now. Got a boss trap room that we can take advantage of. We can do something with that, too. Let's do that before I forget it. I can't believe it worked. <laughs> is this a red chest? No. That's fine. I'm still into it. We could telepills away. This will be a good test, because these are going to make up a lot of our rooms on the womb in the cathedral. And again... It, our damage is not that bad. We're killing Loki in not, like, a crazy amount of time. And we definitely have the range necessary to, to scum the shit out of Lump of Coal. Fire at me. I dare you. Freaking fire your laser, dog. BFF Lump or BFF uh, Ball of Bandages, surprisingly similar to Lump of Coal. And a couple of things to say to you there. Okay. So what's the obvious win here? Guppy pickup. Guppy pickup, uh, it solves a lot of problems that we may consider ourselves to have. Thought if we just stay still, maybe these guys will aggro me, but it's going to take a hundred years. Why use High Priestess there? Because we had another one here, of course. No, I didn't know that coming into it, but uh, it's not so bad. But I'm happy it worked out. What's our other one? Telepills? High Priestess definitely beats Telepills. I think High Priestess beats the sun when we have no red hearts. So, basically just use that as a, uh, a death card, and that's okay. Still up against it on this run. But think, we could random Judas next time. It could all be forgiven. Fanny pack, 9 volts. Uh, we take the 9 volts. It's a shame we can't get any like huge bonus out of it right now. Donate a little bit of money back just for the, the good fortune. 9 volt just a little, little better. Fanny pack could help, but 9 volt a little bit more clutch. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. Okay, stand still. Stay still. They'll either walk into me, or I'll uh, wait till they pass and then I'll shoot them. Works for me. Evil mastermind here. Okay, got a Spirit Heart back. Let's do this. Don't use High Priestess. I should not have been hit there. I really thought I was far enough away. I'm not calling bullshit on the game. I'm calling bullshit on my brain for thinking I was close enough or far enough away. But, ball of bandages, dog. So good. Okay, we even got our Spirit Heart back. We picked up the Polaroid. Guppy. 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 Oh, it happened! It worked! We're Guppy. All is forgiven. And the nine lives pickup specifically is the one that we wanted the most, for sure. Okay. So now, uh, flying, flies. I mean, I don't want to just repeat myself over and over. Those are two different things. It's extremely valuable. This should be a win. Um, and you know what? I always say, well, I sometimes say, it's all right if you lose as long as you learn something. On this, oh, we're still fine with Judas's tongue, maybe. Now that we actually have some HP. But it's even better to learn something and win. Because you win. And the lesson is still just as valuable, I think, if it sticks. You know, don't fuck around with your Judas's shadow fucking Abaddon nonsense. That's what I'm imprinting on my brain. Second level bandage girl and our last deal with the devil. Wow, we came very close to not making that happen. 
So you know what? I love you, Guppy. You really helped me out there. I love you, Goathead. Goathead was really like that curse room sealed it for us, man. And I'm I'm admittedly, again, I hate to say this, but I'm looking forward to the random run next. Not that I'm looking forward to it, but I'm looking ahead to it is maybe what I should say. Um I'm excited. You know, there's always a chance that you ran into the Lost. I know that it's... Thank you. I know that at some point I'm going to have to nut up and do the Lost on the streak. It's just... Try it. Sure, I'm guppy, but I also took a shitty item deliberately. Are we Are we cool, chat? Are we on the same page here? Um, I would... I would love to not have that be next, though. Well, let's think about it. How many random characters are there? There's like nine... Or, or ten. Let me think about this. You got Isaac, Maggie, Kane, Judas. That's four. Uh, Eve for five. Samson for six. You can't random Eden. Azazel for seven. The Lost for eight. Isaac for... No, I probably already included that. You know, I should just look at the character select screen before the next run. But anyway, what I'm getting at is... Uh, how many... It should take like 25 runs on average before you random the lost because you know maybe let's say you've got a one in ten chance it should take 30 runs because you only random once every uh three times we're closing in on 30 though it's scaring me a little bit we don't have to win as the lost what we have to do is get judas a shadow or well i guess nine lives would win as the lost but yeah you really just have to get judas a shadow or the onk or lazarus rags that's four other items that can be added into the pool to give yourself a chance but uh, let's, I'm psyching myself out. I don't believe that it gives us a greater chance to random the loss. It's not like I can control, you know, what the button's going to press, but come on. Let's not psych ourselves out until it actually becomes relevant. And I'm, I'm falling back into that Isaac strat where basically the most important thing is just survive until the game gives you the win. Reroll what you can, reroll what you're able. If you're rerolling with me, you're going to get able. I just round able with able, but it's two different words. Like they're just... Homophones, homonyms, might be homonyms. Do 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 do. Then you say homonyms. Do 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 do. And then I go homonyms. Do 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 do. I don't I don't want that bomb to go off because it's definitely not gonna find the room I want it to. Do 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 do. Mom sorry, gonna totally fuck in the butt. Homonyms. There we go. I was trying to remember what word I was actually using there. Okay, um, now it's all about the chest. With nine lives, though, we could probably pretty easily kill uh, Blue Baby on one life if we had to. I'm, I'll admit I'm going a little faster than most people would probably like here, leaving some consumables behind. But I think you gotta, you know, you gotta let me breathe, man. You gotta let me be free on this run. You gotta let me make my own mistakes. We're not gonna need that bomb. We have an extraordinary number of flies in case it's not clear. I will even check this out on the house, I think. And sure, contract from below. Why not? I don't know who below is, but uh, we're going to sign it anyway. Because it helps us out. Does anyone... It's like wealth, but at what cost? What is the cost? Is it really just that you occasionally get the uh, double boss rooms when you have it? Because that's not really that bad. Unless you're going for uh, the... Isaac, or sorry, the Meat Boy or Bandage Girl achievements, I guess. But I think that train has sailed for us on this run. Nothing down here. A little disappointing. But we are so much stronger than we were on the Depths 1. Or, or that was actually Necropolis 2. But when we were uh, fighting Loki earlier. This is good. It's good stuff, man. I'm feeling energized again. I've always loved Rebirth. But I love it the most when I'm winning. I think that's true for a lot of games. Strange Attractor freaking me out a little there. Um, I don't know. Where are you going to spawn? Ghostbusters! No, I didn't ask. Ray Parker Jr., what are you doing to get out of here? If there's something strange in your neighborhood, don't call the police. Instead, you should call a fictional service. Who are you going to call? That's correct. Okay. We're rerolling a lot here. I'm going to take the poison. Uh, but we'll, 
Reroll these, obviously. And sure, it's good. And it's good. And hey, Lemon Party's all right. And let's just like go broke here. Mom's wig, man, that's like totally acceptable. An invisible man sleeping in your bed. Who you gonna call? Boston makes me feel good. Plus 10 points to you if you uh, get that reference. What do we got here? Chariot. Eh, we'll use it. Like, if we got two chariot cards, you might as well use it. That's what I've always said. That's what Dad always said to me when I was a kid. He said, son, if you got two chariot cards, use them. Take a reezy, and if it's easy, use the chariot card twice. We'll go back. I wasn't really in danger of getting hit there, but it's okay. <sighs> Another run that started a little... Well, it didn't start scary, but there were some scary elements of it, but it ended, or is ending. Let's not get too cocky. Very, very smoothly. It feels good, man. It feels good. I've gotten a, an all stats up. I would expect my luck to be high enough to at least guarantee me like a chest or two down here. All right, well, maybe I, was, I didn't mean to tell you how to live your life game, but I'm just saying, you know, it might be a nice gesture. That's uh, amnesia pills. No, we got PhD. What does that turn into? I can see forever? Fair of fucking moans. I don't, what? Maybe amnesia was the last run. Figures, I can't remember what all of our colors are this time, but I can remember, you know, a color from last time. Eight cents? That'll be important when we get to the chest shop. I still think it'd be really cool if Afterbirth had a chest shop, but everything cost, like, ten times what it cost normally. Well, yeah, everything cost 150 cents. That's a genius idea. Um, you know what I mean, though. Everything was expensive, or it all cost red hearts or something. Could be interesting, but I don't know. I'm not a game designer. I'm not a rapper either. I can't believe we got no chests. I mean, I'm happy about the running regardless, but uh, it would have been nice to break up the kind of monotony. We got four chests to start with, but that's not that important. Very sorry about this one, Blue Baby. I never had a choice, unfortunately. Now it's all about RNG, man. It all, like, skill has nothing to do with how well we press that random button. So I'm a little scared, but for now, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. To get to 24, we'll have to beat the question mark. I'll see you next time.